All right, as many of you know, although some of you might not know, this year I got a third job, so, you know, that gives me three part-time jobs and not a lot of time. But I say that to say this, I will always make time for Christmas, and that's kind of the basis of this rant. Although, actually, there's kind of a lot of things that this rant is going to address, so stick around, this might be a long one. And as it comes to today, November 1st, uh, this has always been a very significant day for me, at least for the last three, four, maybe even five or six, seven or eight years. Point is, this has been a very significant day for me because it signifies the shift from, you know, just plain autumn to autumn winter, to, ha you know, Halloween departing and Christmas being the next big thing up on, up on the list. Although, really, as many of you know, I plan for Christmas pretty early and, you know, I'd say, like, that last week of October is particularly excruciating, just kind of waiting for this, knowing that it's coming, having all the stuff prepared, and there's a lot to get to, but I'll get to that later. Um, just, wow, what, what an opportunity I have here. And while we're talking about, you know, November starting, this will kind of act as, like, my November rant, because I've been trying to do a rant to start every month, because this year, particularly the last four months, have just had so much going on. It seems like each month I have different highlights to talk about. And last month was, God, no exception at all. Um, you know, the Red Sox won the World Series. I saw Maroon 5. I DJed a couple very fun weddings. It seemed like every week there was like one or two or more really great things to see. And then, of course, there was Christmas looming. You know, and no matter how many times I see Christmas stuff for the first time every year, it's like, whoa. You know, I have to stop and look. And this year, I did more than just stop and look. I bought. <laughs> I bought a ton. I uh, dare I say that this Christmas Central is going to have, like, the most added to it from year to year. And that includes 2016, which made a lot of additions. So we'll see what the final product looks like. And that's kind of the fun part, is kind of seeing it in my head, but not knowing what it's going to look like yet. So that's going to start today. I say start because, you know, it's still, you know, pretty early in this process. And then, you know, I had Halloween, which was yesterday. And it was really fun. Um... This is November 1st. I'm actually going to try and put this rant out tonight. Sometimes I wait a little bit, but just to make it a little more authentic, I will put it out tonight. And my post-Halloween rant will kind of focus more on what I thought of Halloween, so I'm not going to get too much into that. I'll hopefully have the Halloween video edited in a few days and up on YouTube. So, moving past that, um, you know, the Red Sox playoffs were great. And in many ways, Christmas is kind of like my playoffs. You know, it's kind of like this is the time now. You know, and I love Christmas. Um, everybody knows that. Uh, dare I say, there are, are very few things I love more than Christmas. I mean, I do have a great amount of passion for a few things, and I like some other things, but very few come close to Christmas in terms of just how much I love it. I mean, you guys know that. Anyone who's watched my videos over the past years, there's always a rant or two or three in this room where I just talk about the holidays and everything I love about it. And it's interesting to watch those past rants and kind of see what's changed and what stayed the same. A lot has stayed the same, but there's a few things that have changed. And this year, you know, with the Christmas thing, you know, Christmas Central going up and everything, I'm really excited. You know, on one hand, you know, I have years of experience of doing this now, so I feel like I'm a lot more proficient at things than I used to be when I first started Christmas Central, and it was a little more experimental. And on the other hand, I still keep finding new things to kind of amaze me or, I mean, not surprise me, but just kind of be like, well... I could put the lights there, or I could do this differently. Like, just some new ideas to give this room a little something extra. And that, that's what I try to do every year. Last year was an amazing effort. I really enjoyed the way that room looked. But now it's time to block that out of my mind, because this is going to be a new Christmas Central, new feeling, new everything. Like, I again, even I don't know. I could discover something midway through this and start with something new. I have no idea. Looking at it right now and looking at all this stuff. And I love Christmas. Like, I will always invest in Christmas. I will always give my time to Christmas. And there's so much I do. And like I mentioned, having three jobs, there's so much I do. So many mornings I have to kind of kick myself awake and, you know, do a lot of driving, commuting back and forth, all this stuff. And, yes, my you know, my jobs are mostly worth it. You know, like, there's, there's a lot of passion for me in graphic design and DJing weddings and, and not so much for staples. But a lot of passion in my work, a lot of passion in what I do. But none of that touches Christmas. You know, Christmas is like that one thing a year I want to do. It's not like I have to wake myself up early. I don't have to tell myself, all right, time for Christmas. Like, I'm always ready to go at a moment's notice, and I can't wait. Now, as I mentioned, I don't want to go too fast here, and it's kind of a contradiction because I want 
so badly to have Christmas go off without a hitch. I want everything to be within a certain time frame, but I also want to enjoy it. I want to really savor it. I don't want to just throw all this stuff up in like a day. I'm sure I could, but I want to do it piece by piece. I would like to kind of just, I put on Christmas music while I do it. I kind of just zone out a little bit. And I kind of just, I get kind of uh, nostalgic for the past Christmases and all, all the joy that they brought just thinking about what this year's will bring. And it's just, it's an incredible journey. It seems to get more emotional every year just because I keep building on it. And for this year, I'm just, I'm excited. Now, I've kind of gone back and forth on if I'm going to film any of this, like me putting together Christmas Central. I'm sure some of you would be interested in it. I say that, but most of my videos get like 30 views, so I don't know how interested anyone really is. I think maybe I'm the one that's interested. But I, I thought about, you know, filming the construction of Christmas Central to some degree, and I, I've done it in the past, but... For one thing, it just, I don't know, it kind of takes away from it in some weird way. And I mean, I love filming things, but it's just, for one thing, this room is so cramped to set up a camera and aim it at me. There'd be like no room. I'd be like a foot away from the camera the whole time. And it just, I don't know, it's just another factor I'd have to think about. You know, in addition to putting up the lights and everything, I'd have to be like, oh, am I on camera? You know, is this on frame? Then I'd have to edit it. And again, I, I know I just said I, I give everything to Christmas, and I do. But there's something about that that can't be captured in a video. You know, and I do plenty of videos, and I'm doing one right now. But just, you know, me watching me set up a bunch of lights, I don't think really would... I think it would be an interesting video, and I, I have considered it. It's not being ruled out, but I don't know that... I think I'd rather just focus on it in the moment. You know, listen to my music and just kind of be here, building Christmas Central. And of course, as I'm building it, and when it's done, I'm going to do a ton of video and pictures of it, so that's not going to be a problem. But, yeah, the process of building it is something I treasure. It, it takes maybe a couple weeks, but it, it feels like more than that. It feels like just such a wonderful, it's a cathartic moment, really, to, to kind of just live through Christmas by building it, literally. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see some of this new stuff in action. Like I said, I bought a lot of Christmas stuff, more than usual, and I still have all the old Christmas stuff. So all that's going to be worked in, and I can't wait to see it all come together, really and truly. Um, this Christmas season. And, and do I start early? Yes, I do. And that gets back to my main point of the video, which is I'm making Christmas a priority every year, all the time. You know, 365, well, maybe not every day of the year, but you get my drift. I'm always, always, always going to make time for Christmas in some way. Even in 2016, when I had to work like 27 days of the month or whatever it was, I made time. Those other four days... We're all about Christmas, and even the days I worked were all about Christmas, and I love it. I really do love Christmas season. I love what's to come. You know, it's still a while to go, but I, I, I know what's happening. I know what's going to happen. I've seen it so many times, and yet I still want to see it again. I want to see Christmas. I want to hear it in the music. I want to watch my Christmas movies. I want to build Christmas Central, you know, piece by piece, and see it come together. I'm excited, in case you guys couldn't tell. November 1st, always a big day for me. But just the first of many, and I don't know how far I'm going to get on Christmas Central today. Probably not very far, but it's not about that. It's about setting the table. It's about getting it ready for when I am, you know, getting closer to completion, probably a week or two from now. I, I can't wait. So, anyway, just want to do a rant on that. You know, Christmas means a lot to me. Always has, always will. So, I look forward to seeing what happens with this room. Hopefully you do, too. More uh, Christmas coverage to come. Uh, Halloween video should be coming out shortly. This, there's a ton to watch. And, of course, my birthday bash will be a big topic going forward. So enjoy all that. Um, enjoy November. Enjoy Thanksgiving and the time with your family. It's starting to wind down now. It's starting to be the best part of the year. So let's have at it, everybody. Christmas 2018 approaches.